To start answering this question, let's go ahead and read what it's actually asking for. If m is a positive integer and q plus 4 equals 7 to the m, which of the following could not be a value of q? So let's go ahead and we could actually take our equation and isolate q since that's the value that we're, we're asked which one could not be the value of q. And if we isolate q in our given equation, we end up with q equals 7 to the m minus 4. Now let's go ahead and let's just kind of glance at our answer choices. Uh, noticing if we take all of them uh, together, noticing the differences between the two, if we can kind of find a pattern of um, if one really stands out compared to the others, uh, we can notice that all of the answer choices are odd except for choice C. Um, so that kind of stands out specifically in our mind. So if we were in a hurry, um, we might choose that um, as an answer to move on, but we can actually reason out uh, what our answer is going to be out of all of these. So there's a couple ways that we could approach this. Um, the first way kind of abstractly is to think about our even and odd um, properties. 7 to the m, no matter what m is, uh, is always going to be odd because it's going to be 7s multiplied m times, however many m would be. Uh, and odd numbers multiplied by each other are always going to end up odd. So you could take a simple case like 7 times 7 would give us a 49. Um, and 49 minus 4 would actually give us 45. So that's a value that we could actually get. So we could just rule that out right now, just reasoning it out. Um, but if we think about uh, if 7 to the m is always odd and we subtract 4, uh, we're always going to end up with an odd number. Um, so we can take uh, if m is 1, for example. Uh, then we have q is 7 to the 1 minus 4, and that ends up with 3. Uh, so that's choice A, and we can rule that out. Uh, and we can notice that pattern as we continue. We don't have to go too far in terms of our m's. We already reasoned out when m is uh, 2, so 7 squared, which would give us 49 minus 4, would give us 45. And if we continue that pattern, actually, we end up with an odd number minus an even will always end up odd for us. So we could actually rule out any odd um, answer choices because we have an even answer choice that we know that it will never, ever be even, um, reasoning that out. So a couple ways we could just do it abstractly, right? An odd um, number minus an even is always going to be odd, so we could rule out that this will 54 will never be an answer choice for us. Um, or we can just pick a couple uh, values, pick some numbers for m to quickly see that pattern kind of happening. Um, so if we needed to pick m equal to 3 to kind of reason that out, uh, even further, we can do that. And we don't have to find the values of m to verify that these uh, numbers actually are options for q. We just know that 54 will never be an option for q. So that would be our answer choices, answer choice C.